Rain may have returned to the Willamette Valley this week, but it'll take a lot more to make up for our shortfall. This map just out today shows the hardest hit areas. The driest states, like California, show dark red, but a closer look at Oregon shows brown, a sign of severe drought. In tonight's team coverage, Matt gives us a close look at the conditions. But first, we start with Tim Gordon and a sign of the times at the Hoodoo Ski Area. Tim? Yeah, Joe, you know, they would love to open here, but they simply can't. They got a little new snow. It looks really nice, but it's just not enough. In fact, they've gotten more rain than anything, and that's turned the chairlift area into a lake. The buildings are dark at Hoodoo. Nobody's been using the lodge all season. They'd like nothing more than to have the lake at the base freeze up and get these chairlifts moving. Uh, typically this time of year we'd have close to 100 inches and we have 19. Um, so yeah, it's been really hard uh, and unexpected and we don't really know how to deal with it. This is uncharted territory for us. This year's snowpack for the Willamette Valley Basin is 24% of normal right now. At the San Yem Pass measuring site, it's just 8% of normal. The Mount Hood Basin is a little better off at 34% of normal. The Mount Hood site alone is at 51% today. Concern is growing for later this year. I think about irrigation for, for our farms and I think about the river and our, you know, a lot of people that work here are seasonal employees who are rafting guides and fishing guides. I think about them. How's it going to affect their summer? On our drive, we checked out Detroit Lake. The reservoir is usually low in winter. Today, it's actually 17% higher than normal. The Army Corps of Engineers controls how much water comes out of the dam throughout the year. And we also recognize that the forecast for rainfall for the rest of the spring is pretty uncertain right now. No big concerns for filling the reservoir yet, but back at Hoodoo, they hope Mother Nature hears their prayers for snow so they can possibly open up. We're just trying to decide what the best option for us is right now. And at, and at what point do you call it? At what point do you say, this is just not worth it anymore? Yeah, no decision yet, and a couple of good storms with snow could make it a go, but they are halfway through the normal ski season here already.